In this short video, I'm going to show you how to take a document library in SharePoint 2010 and expose its contents directly in a file manager from Windows 7. And we're going to do that by linking the library to the Windows Favorites uh, shortcut section, which is a new feature in Windows 7. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you're in the library that you want to expose into Windows, and, and I'm in that right now. Then you want to click on the Library tab. Then you want to open this library with Explorer. And as you can see here, now we've opened up this SharePoint library in Windows Explorer. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take this library and we're going to add it to our Favorites section as a folder. And as you can see here, I've already done that with several of the document libraries that I work with a lot. And to do this, it's really easy. All you have to do is click on the folder in the address bar and drag it and drop it over your Favorites. And as you can see here, now the shared document library has been added to our Favorites section. But the way it's labeled shared documents it doesn't mean a whole lot. So we can actually rename it here in Windows without affecting any of the back end in SharePoint. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click on the document and select rename. So documentation team shared documents. Now at least it lets me know which team uh, the document library belongs to. Now what I want to do is show you how, in, let's say in Microsoft Word, we would be able to save a file directly to this document library. So let's go ahead and start Microsoft Word. Okay, so as you can see here, I've started Microsoft Word and I've, be, I've started to type in some contents. Now I want to go ahead and save this file. So I'm going to go do that by clicking on the save icon. All right, so that's opened up my little save dialog. And as you can see here in my favorites, I can now access my documentation team shared documents library by clicking on the link on the folder. And that opens up, as you can see, my shared documents folder. And now I'm just going to go ahead and give the document a name and save it as I normally would. Now, when we go back to the SharePoint document library, you can see that my document uh, has been added, my hot to document to has been added to the library. And that's it. This method is a great way of exposing your contents from a SharePoint library in Windows. And it's a great help especially to those users that might not be aware of where they're supposed to share, uh, put their stuff, or maybe they'll have a hard time finding where their document libraries are, or they're just not comfortable working in the Windows environment yet. This is a great way to get them to store their files in SharePoint without actually having re have them realize that they're doing it that way. I hope you found this video to be of value, and thanks for watching.